John, uh, obviously we'll find out in a moment, but when you get a guy like Freddie back, whenever that is, like, what sort of impact does that have on the team? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously uh, his skill set and uh, the type of goaltender he is, he's obviously uh, one of the best in, in the league, one of the best in the world. So, um, you know, obviously a lot of confidence in him, and he gives the group a lot of confidence. Uh, um, you know, just that consistency he brings on a nightly basis and um, his ability to obviously make the big save when it's needed and, and just being, uh, like I said, just being steady like he always is. When you, when you do the pre-scale, what sticks out about the Avalanche's top line? Well, I think how dynamic uh, they are. they got a good, uh, I think, mix uh, of guys with the, uh, things they bring to the table. Uh, obviously, you know, Landis Cog's a real good finisher and uh, strong in the puck, good in a lot of a lot of areas that maybe you don't notice. and. Uh, obviously, McKinnon's uh, dynamic ability with the puck, his skating, uh, his shot, and you know Ranton's uh, hockey sense and playmaking ability is uh, one of the best in the league. So uh, they just got a good blend of uh, kind of everything. Um, you know, you obviously got to be aware when they're on the ice and, and uh, make it tough on them. And ideally, you want to make them uh, uh, defend and play without it. From your experience, do you tend to see teams that in Colorado's position having lost eight of nine being a little bit more desperate at this point in a stretch? Well, you know, you get to, uh, I think, this point in the season and a lot of teams in a lot of different situations. Uh, I mean, everyone's obviously competing hard as, as the games go on. The points only become that much more valuable with, uh, you know, less room for errors. So I think you just try to be as prepared as you can be, knowing to expect a uh, team's best, especially uh, a team like Colorado that obviously is hungry for points and then can be uh, uh, very explosive like they have been uh, through many stretches this year. I imagine, I imagine too, John, there's desperation to it in the sense in this room as well. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot to we got a lot to earn and a lot to work for and a lot to play for ourselves. So, uh, I, I completely agree. We have a lot of emphasis in our game and getting better. And again, where we need to get to, and there's still a lot to be done. Uh, um, of course, this season, and obviously want to bounce back after a, a tough loss Saturday. So, um, it's a good opportunity uh, here tonight, and just got to know your opponent and be prepared. We've seen a couple of uh, high-profile coaches versus players incidents. Obviously, Nathan was coached last week in the Senators and Ruba ride. How does that kind of stuff resonate in the room, and how do you deal with that internally? Well, I've never been uh, really a part of something kind of open on the bench like that, but uh, I think, you know, things aren't uh, uh, always perfect. I think uh, everyone's extremely competitive. Um, so anytime I, uh, uh, anything I've been a part of or been around anyone who's uh, – uh, but in a situation like that, I think it's always best to kind of handle it behind closed doors and, and uh, uh, work through it. And at the end result, I think everyone's trying to accomplish the same thing. So it's just uh, having that open communication and having a good respect and understanding of each other. Is this the sort of thing that people can move on from within the team easily? I would like to, I would like to think so. I mean, I don't uh, – like I said, I haven't really been a part of something like that. I mean – I mean, sometimes they do get blown out of proportion. I think, like I said, a lot. Some things can be just heat of the moment, and it's just a quick apology, especially when you when you've been around someone for so long, uh, run you know the same coach for a number of years. I think you get a good sense of who you are as people, and something like that happens. Uh, it's almost like a family member. Things aren't uh, always perfect, but uh, you find a way to move on, and and uh, you know you're all in it together. How do you feel the uh, matchup against that Boston line went, and do you think it helps you at all that you know another big line comes in and gets you set for this one? Or? Yeah, I, I mean, in a sense, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I think over the course of my career, you know, I've had some uh, good matchups, uh, playing, you know, some, a lot of the top players around the league, and I think that only helps uh, me and my line mates only uh, become better, and you got to find ways to obviously uh, be good at both ends of the ice and be uh, productive and uh, make contributions. So um, certainly, you know, when you're playing against those type of players, uh, it gets you ready to play, and it's a great challenge. You look forward to it. Uh, and whatever the matchup is tonight, uh, just try to be as best uh, ready as you can be. But certainly, um, you know, uh, I think for our group uh, and as a team, you know, two of the top lines around the league uh, these, uh, you know, last game and today. I'm starting to see that a bit more teams loading up one line, whether it's Pasternak, um, Bergeron, Marchand, or you guys here. What, what are your thoughts on that? It's kind of funny to see how the game's sort of evolved over. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think you see different things around the league. I think you see that at times. Uh, I, but I think you see plenty of teams that spread it out. Um, you know, uh, you know, you see. I think Tampa spreads it out uh, uh, fairly well. I think we spread it out fairly well. Um, you know, so I, I think it just depends. Uh, uh, I guess kind of maybe the way the team's built or the way they're uh, looking to play. But 
you know, certainly uh, um, sometimes you get three guys that just click so well together, it's hard, hard to not do that. Do you like the advantage that you guys have where teams are almost having to pick their poison as to whether trying to shut you guys down or Matthew's line or even sometimes the attacking line? Yeah, I, I think so. I think that just makes it that much harder to play against. Uh, uh, you know, over a course of 60 minutes, you like to think you're able to uh, – uh, wear a team down that way uh, and find a way to get opportunities and especially when we have uh, I think the talent and the, the, the ability that guys have that we're going to get the production that's needed to uh, get the results we want.